hello and welcome to the video um, if you've been around here for a while you might notice a couple things are different number one I'm talking hello um, this is my first time trying a narrated video so hopefully it doesn't go too awkwardly um, number two I'm using a different program than I usually use I switched from Photoshop elements to clip studio paint and I definitely like Clip a lot better than Photoshop Elements, um, but that's not really important. Moving on. <laughs> um, so talking a little bit about the painting itself, um, I was just kind of playing around with the word Meliora in my head, and the word actually means better. It's Latin for better. And so when I was kind of thinking about it and mulling it over, I pictured this um, very kind of dystopian type scenery not necessarily dystopian just very post-apocalyptic yeah that, that's the right word um but with a little glimmer of something hopeful so eventually i add in a butterfly sitting on this lady's finger um which actually was not as difficult to paint as i thought it was going to be but that's beside the point um anyway so that's where the idea came from is just kind of thinking about the word I don't I don't know why I was so fascinated by the word Meliora it just kind of popped into my head but uh, moving on um, this painting actually kind of ended up surprising me a little bit because of how long it took uh, because usually when I do something like this it takes at least a day or two and this whole thing took me about an hour and 20 minutes which was super weird <laughs> um, I was not expecting it to take that little time um, so I'm probably gonna look at it tomorrow and find some really glaring errors, but that, oh well, yeah, <laughs> it happens. But uh, moving on to something that we actually care about. Um, right now I'm just adding in the base colors for everything. Um, I've always started with just a base layer of color and then added my shadows and highlights on top of that. I know some people do it the other way around where they add their their darkest color and then add their um, highlights on top of that but I've tried to do that and it just doesn't work for me so this is how I do it with just a mid-tone and then I add both shadows and highlights on top of it and I know there are quicker ways to fill everything in than uh, manually erasing all of the color that went outside the lines but uh, this is just kind of how I've always done it, and old habits are hard to break. <laughs> um, and I just kind of find it relaxing to erase everything, so that's that's just how I do it. I don't know. I'm weird that way, I guess. And here I'm just adding the markings on the butterfly's wings. I did end up having to look up a reference for this. Um, not end up. I, I originally looked up a reference for this because I have no freaking clue how to draw butterflies, how their wings work. Um, but, you know, it turned out recognizable. So, <laughs> good job reference. <laughs> um, yeah, and I, I'm pretty pleased with how the butterfly ends up looking. They're, they're not really my strong suit. I don't really draw a lot of, you know, alive things that that was a really weird way to say it but um i don't i don't draw a lot of animals or insects so when i do it's kind of usually an ordeal um oh and here's where i realized i put all of that shading on the wrong layer and was gonna try to copy it all to a different layer and just gave up because it was a hassle <laughs> so now i'm just adding that um base shading I start with the shadows and then I go in and add the highlights on everything, uh, except for a couple of things. I don't think I actually highlight highlighted the mask at all, um, but I just go in and block color everywhere and hope it looks good. <laughs> um, I probably should start worrying about light sources, but this was just a really quick painting. I was more just doing this um, to get some things off my mind. So I wasn't really too concerned with it, I was just more concerned with, you know, getting something on a canvas. And here I'm just going in and adding shading to the butterfly, and um, it's probably not the most realistic shading job ever, but like I said, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> 
Um, and then I move on to making the background look a little more background-y. Um, one of the things I really like about Clip Studio is that they have so many brushes um, just available from other people who use Clip. Um, and they make, they make backgrounds way more fun <laughs> to do. Um, so if this was, if this was a bigger piece, I probably would have put more effort into the background. I would have done a bit more, oh, here's where I decide that I wanted, like, bits of rubble flying around and then I gave up. Um, <clears throat> anyway, um, so I'm starting to blend out the shading now. I've actually been playing around with some brushes because I just downloaded a new pack and I've been kind of looking to find a replacement brush for the one I was using on Photoshop and this one is technically called Photoshop Hard Round but it I never really used the hard round on Photoshop I used a different brush so it's it's not my favorite but it does work really well for that mask it blended that out really well and I'm really happy with how that turned out it was kind of a marginal brush for the rest of the piece, so I'm not sure how often I'm going to use that one in the future, but um, for for all intents and purposes, it, it could probably work really well if I just played around with it more and figured out how to really use it to its full potential. <laughs> but for now, I'm just going to keep playing around with the brushes that I have and see which one works best for me. There are a couple of options that I have that I want to play around with a little more and maybe make speed paints with those too, but I've kind of run out of things to say, so I think I'll just um, let the video go and hand it back over to the music and come back on near the end of the video to show you the final piece. So uh, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoy it!
Okay, we're coming up to the end of the video. Um, if you enjoy watching me paint, don't forget to hit subscribe and let me know what you think of this painting in the comments. And I will see you in my next video.